first four questions. I need other people to ask questions. Um, Maria? Uh, Maria Lishongwane, Muzona Press Agency. Um, thank you, Your Excellency. Congratulations on the first peaceful transfer of power following the 2018 election. We hope it will continue with, the, with future elections. I would like to ask you on the establishment of political dynasties in African countries, including Botswana. There, there is a belief that uh, political dynasties tend to limit political competition, they encourage corruption, abuse of, uh, pol of power, they encourage tribalism and instability. How can you, SADC, ensure that this doesn't happen in the region? Thank you. So you are talking about the region in general or only the Democratic Republic of Congo, madam? In Africa. In Africa. <laughs> bon, uh, <laughs> well, uh, what can I say about uh, all these uh, issues that are unfortunately affecting the good governance of our state? If it's not that uh, we have been committed, we are committed to fighting all those uh, issues. Uh, I said uh, just now, President Masisi, in our talk, that I was uh, deeply attached to solidarity uh, between Africans. And uh, I believe that uh, this uh, evil uh, or these uh, issues that you have uh, raised, uh, corruption, tribalism, uh, injustices, uh, they actually went across uh, our continent uh, for unfortunately very long uh, years, many years. Uh, but uh, I'm not saying uh, we are out of it, but uh, it's, unfortunately we've, it has been inherited from the colonizer who wanted to divide us in order to maintain uh, his uh, rulership and uh, dominion on our people. Uh, but we, we must also uh, question ourselves uh, uh, and also know that this is a weakness, a real weakness that we must uh, fight. Uh, we must fight all these uh, issues. Uh, corruption, uh, uh, when it mines a state, uh, it pushes it to failure. And I can uh, tell you, uh, and I'm talking to you knowing what I'm talking about, because the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, knows these uh, issues for a very many years. And since I'm there, I have uh, undertaken my, uh, to fight it. Uh, by instituting uh, the uh, finance uh, uh, inspections of finances, uh, which is an organization of uh, state linked to the presidency, which the purpose uh, is to visit all the financial management of uh, the public uh, organ organs uh, in order to see how we can end uh, this uh, bad governance. And I did not hesitate also uh, to uh, take my staff in order to go in the communities in the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, uh, who were actually uh, trying to go into tribal tensions and to uh, bring them back to order and remind them that we are the same state, the same people, that we need to banish uh, this uh, kind of uh, habits and practices. Uh, we don't, uh, for me, I don't see any other solutions, but only to come together and to fight with determination this uh, issue. Unfortunately, uh, it's a part of our culture. We have to mention it. We have to uh, be honest. Uh, today, the first reflex of every African uh, citizen is uh, firstly to look, or not, maybe not all of them, all of us, but most Africans, we all first go back into our tribe. But we must have as a habit to refer ourselves to institutions, because institutions are the guarantors of uh, 
equality to every citizenship. These institutions, once they are democratic, they protect all the individuals in the same manner. So we must develop. Uh, this is our work, uh, our duty, us as governors of African countries, to develop this uh, uh, culture, because a culture is acquired, which means it's possible. We are a gathering of old uh, kingdoms, the traditional kingdoms that have become modern states. So maybe it is a difficult uh, transition to do, but not impossible. So I believe that we must uh, think and with determination, we are going to get there. Thank you very much. Can I uh, venture to um, add to what His Excellency said? And might I plead with you, Resident Sabian, or in the interest of time, that uh, we per perhaps uh, uh, draw to a close. Um, thank you for the very good question. Let me begin by saying that um, the word dynasty when you attach it to politics and leadership, always contrives negativity. There's a negative connotation to it. And therefore, the outcome would be negative, particularly when you're associated with the ideals for which many countries have pledged to stand by, particularly when you're associated with the very foundational principles of the AU and preceding it, the OEU. And and all manner of regional organizations, including the electoral principles, which is democratic. Dynasty, democracy are inimical to each other. One is the antithesis of the other. So they do not converge. And so in the case of our stated position as African leaders, we abhor the backsliding of democracy. We abhor the uh, removal of legitimate governments and they being replaced by illegitimate governments. We abhor coup d'etats. In fact, earlier on in the days of the OAU, there was a, a very strongly enforced sanctioning of those who, although it weakened over time, of those who took power uh, by uh, the barrel of the gun. And recently, we have been screaming at the top of our voices through different fora where we are witnessing a backsliding of democratic dispensation and behaviors. And as you well know, in Botswana, we have talked strongly against it. But if the dynasty you are thinking of was not meant to have negative connotations, if it is a dynasty as a result of democratic behaviors, then you are asking the wrong people. You must ask the voters. If the voters seem to like a particular pattern, despite there being a presence of freedom for them to participate as they wish in the attempt to interest differing bodies to lead an, a country, then you may wish to alter the caricaturing of that as being dynastic. It's an outcome. And I want to zero in on Botswana, because since 1965, when we had our first elections, the Botswana Democratic Party has won every election. So it's quite a lazy definition or labeling to say we are a dynasty. Go and ask our voters. They made us who we are. We were more successful earlier. We are not as successful now. It's a contest. You must also ask Isaac Makwala. You must also ask Amante Munso, ask Tebo Holitzile, you know, ask Usain Bolt. If they keep winning, what do you call it? As long as you play according to the rules established. I don't think we should attach a negative connotation to it. And yes, as long as there's negativity and ulterior motives, that's a recipe for corruption. That's a recipe for dictatorship. That's a recipe for backsliding, the abuse of human rights, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I challenge the um, 
the nomenclature, uh, but you may get away with it by contextualizing it. Uh, but that's my answer. We do not, as Africans, uh, including His Excellency, tolerate it. We have engaged intensely, not just on this visit, but before, where he has shared his own vision for the DRC, and he wishes for it. Nothing but the best, so that there is a free competition of ideas, and people will select their government. But you submit to that by also submitting to playing by the rules uh, for everybody. So um, thanks for asking the question. It gives an opportunity to uh, elucidate what we are and who we are. And this is not unique to Africa, by the way, because you are uh, zeroing in on Africa. Uh, there's a backsliding of democratic behaviors in some of the most well-known countries in the world who, for purposes of our uh, engagement this afternoon, shall remain nameless. Uh, you can give them a name as you please. Don't tell me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I was minded to actually stop the question and answer.